Was that 1604? Yes. Hello, folks. In chapter two, so far, we have learned a lot of things. Ranging from distance, acceleration, and speed, to DT graphs, AT graphs, and VT graphs. But one of the most important things we have learned is the Galilean hypothesis. The first one of which uh, is two objects, no matter their mass, uh, will fall at the touch the ground at the same time. And the second hypothesis, two objects, no matter their mass, will fall at the same rate. Now I am going to take us to 80 meters above the ground, not 79, not 81, exactly 80 meters. Now, if I drop. Uh, a hammer, how long will it take for the hammer to reach the ground? Four seconds. And what is the equation? D equals VIT plus half AT squared. And if I drop a feather, how long will it take? Four uh, seconds. What is the equation for this? D equals VIT plus half AT squared. What about uh, with the velocity of the hammer just before it reaches the ground? 40 meters per second. What is the equation we use for this? V uh, F equals VI plus AT. What is the velocity of the feather just before it reaches the ground? 40 meters per second. How do we calculate this? Again, V F equals V I plus A T. Now, I'm actually going to do an experiment and take you 80 meters above the ground. Now we are 80 meters above the ground. Sun. Okay, now we're really 80 meters above the ground. Let's test the Tested by by whom? Uh, David Scott. But when was it tested? So when he went to the moon in the early seventies. Nineteen seventy one. That was only forty eight years ago. Whereas uh, it was discovered in sixteen oh four. Right? That's four hundred fifteen years ago. Long time ago. And the both objects, the feather and the hammer on the moon, fell at the same rate, right? Yes. Do you know why they fell uh, to the ground at the same time? Because there's no air on the moon, so there's no air resistance like we have here. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.